2018. The pieces are getting more and more familiar. The top 10 of Art Prize 2012. You have until tomorrow to make your pick on who should get the grand prize. And this morning, we're getting some insight from the experts. I'm joined by Dr. Cindy Todd, a professor and program chair at Kendall College. And Cindy, what pieces were some of your favorites from the top 10? Well, I'd say origami is way up there because, mm -hmm. of course, you're in it. Oh, well. Yeah. In hot pink, <laughs> perfect color. But I love this because when you first approach, it looks like nothing. Wrinkled pieces yes. of paper on the wall. Yes. And then the light comes on and faces appear. And they're individual faces where you can identify people, babies, adults. It really is fantastic. Isn't it incredible? I mean, mm -hmm. you can see eyebrows. You can yeah. see whiskers on chins. Yeah. You can see eyelashes. It's, it's astounding. I don't even know how they did it, but it, it's astounding. It is incredible. Another one that you really, really like from the top 10, Song of Lift. Yeah, I did not like this at first. Okay. But you know, uh, you look at it, it doesn't look pretty when it's still, and then the music starts to play, and a couple birds start to fly, and eventually you are just enveloped in the whole experience. And you really need to stay and watch it. You're compelled to see what's going to happen when they're all up, and how, how is that going to appear. And I'd say uh, the lights, the, the birds, the song, the whole thing makes a full experience. Yeah, interactive. We've mm -hmm. talked about how this one's pretty interactive. Now, a piece that you didn't like as much. Well, I'll tell you, I thought this was beautiful. Sure. But I question, is it art? So it was the lights in the sky. Mm -hmm. they, they lifted all the Japanese mm -hmm. lanterns, and they were beautiful. You know, in fact, they chose just a perfect time of day where the sky was uh -huh. deep blue, not quite black. Um, very, very beautiful. You could call it a performance piece, uh, but it, you know, it's, it's done so often in celebrations. It's not something new. It's, uh, it was, I guess, just sheer numbers that, that added to its beauty. Yeah, and it made it in the top ten. I think it was mm -hmm. in impressive for a lot of people who saw it in person. The pictures are right, right. pretty incredible too. Mm -hmm. So what piece do you wish was in the top 10 oh. that, that is not? Plexus number mm -hmm. 18. Uh, this man uh, wove that right on site. Hours, four days of weaving between those hooks to, to create almost like a structure of threads that, that um, as the threads interact, they create rainbows and twists and oh it's just a uh, it's lovely and I really wish that one had made it I really thought I saw that as a possible winner I'd love to see Grand Rapids choose something that doesn't look like a photograph something right. that they can something that they respond to that doesn't look just like something they could click take a picture of Plexus number 18 was one chosen by the art critics who came in to choose yes and, and, and that was one of the ones when, when I was studying very quickly before the shortlist show, you know, we got the list, we had to study up very quickly before the show was live. Mm -hmm. That's one of the ones that I looked at the picture and I could tell it was one that I needed to see in real life. Exactly. It does not translate well in a photo, but on site, you, you know, the children come up and they just stop and they stare and they move and they look because it changes as you move. It is lovely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Cindy Todd, for you. sharing your opinions with us from Kendall College. Thanks Thank for being you. with us.